Hi friends, my name is Ratan. Now we are discussing interfaces concept, right? Interface is the best place to declare only functionalities of the project, only declarations, right? We done the interface video one is completed, and we done the interface video two, right? Interface video two, and we discuss the interface video three. Check the previous two videos here. Interface versus which concept here? Mm, interface versus which concept here? Inheritance, right? Inheritance. Okay, interface versus what? Inheritance, right? That's all. So we'll focus on inheritance here. Regarding interfaces. Okay, that's all, guys. See, come to the interfaces here. I, I'll give some all the cases. Check the cases properly. Here. Case one. Come to the case one here. I have the interface here. Interface ID one. It contains void M1 method. Okay, like that. I have the interface one, interface two, interface three, right? That's all. So ID one, ID two contains M2 method. ID three contains what? M3 method, right? That's all. Now tell me, now ID one contains how many methods? One method. ID two contains one method. ID three also contains one method, right? Why only one, 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 right? Because three different interfaces. But my requirement is what? ID two, I want to acquire the properties from ID one. Then to acquire the properties from ID one, you want to make the relationship, right? To make the relationship, you have this extends keyword here. Extends, uh, which interface? Uh, ID one, right? That's all. ID two extends what? ID one or not? Okay, clear? Huh? That's all. Yeah. See the class and the class. We have to use in middle. We have to use extends keyword here. Yeah. So we have to write the class and the class. Ex one class can extend another class, right? Interface and interface also. We have to use the extends keyword here. Yeah. Interface, interface also extends keyword. Next one is what? I have the class and interface. Class and interface. The class and interface means we have to use implements keyword. Yeah. If both are same, we can use extends here. If it's a different, we have to use the implements keyword. One class implementing interface, right? Like that. When you, this is interface interface, right? Extends only I have to use. So it three it extends what? Hmm, it two, right? That's all. Now it one contains how many methods? One. It two contains two. It three contains three, right? Like that. The class test. The class test implements what? It three. Then it three contains so many methods, uh, three methods, right? Here override domain methods here, override three methods. That's it. We override domain methods here, three methods, right? That's all. You can you please complete this example? Here? It means here can you please override the three methods. Can you please declare the main method? Can you please call the three methods, right? That's all. There's a case one here. Our okay, case one is clear, right? That's all. And the case two here, interface it one is there. Interface IT two is there, interface IT three is there as usual. Previous example, okay. But here I am not extending this one. Now tell me, now IT one contains how many methods? One method. IT two contains one method. IT three contains, IT three extends IT two right? It contains two methods or not? But here you can go with one more interface here, IT one also. So one class can extend how many class at a time here? Hmm. One class can extends can extends extends uh, only one class, right? One class can extends only one class here. But one interface hmm, can extends uh, one interface can extends what? Uh, one one interface can extends uh, hmm, here multiple interfaces. Because these are the declarations, right? Then there is no issues here. Then interface IT three contains how many methods? Um, three methods, right? That's all. See, one class can extends only one class, but one interface can extends what a uh, multiple interfaces. As usual, here you can take the class test. Uh, it implements which interface here? Uh, it three. As usual, it three contains how many methods? Uh, three methods, right? Override uh, three methods or not? That's all, guys. Very clear, huh? That's all, guys. And you can take the case three. Coming to the case three here. The same case too can do the copy paste here. I think first to second case clear, right? First case we are extending only one interface. Second case we are extending multiple interfaces. But while extending multiple interfaces here, here I have void M1, M2. Here also I have void M2 and M3. Here I have void M4, right? That's all. My IT3 is extending how many interfaces? IT1, IT2, right? But ID1, ID2 contains some common method, right? What is the common method here? M2 method and here also M2 method, right? Then any conflict is there? Any problem is there? 
here not at all a problem here. there is no problem at all if whenever your interface extending multiple interfaces if the multiple interfaces are having the common method write the implementation only one time nothing but over a domain methods here four methods right that's all this is small conflict here see multiple interface are having the common method over in that method how many times only one time don't think that is a which method which interface method because that is a declaration right declaration means any problem is there no problem that is called interface extension here first example one interface extending another interface second example one interface extending what multiple interfaces third example if the multiple interface are having the common method write the implementation only one time we clear huh? that's all guys the last one is what uh, case for see for example here i have the it1 and it2 it1 and it2 the class test one the class test one implements what it1 the class test one implements it1 means it1 contains so many methods uh, one method then simply override how many methods uh, one method right so no yeah? that's all but the class test two here assume another class it implements it implement implement implements it1 comma it1 comma what it2 one class can implements multiple interfaces here we oh, in front of the video don't sit ideal just take the pen and paper note down some points right i'm giving all the possibilities here try to maintain the notes properly and one more small small point from you guys small favor from you side right? uh in reviews here maybe nowadays the guys are checking reviews by checking the reviews they come to the classes live classes right uh students uh, can do can please uh, maybe some positive reviews are there some negative reviews are there in uh, google anyhow that's not a issue but guys uh, better to write the reviews uh, can you please write some review about ratan sir so that others will read that reviews they will come to the classes right Yes, I know. Yeah, I think you, maybe you guys have some time hmm? <laughs> to write the review, right? Yes, I know. Yeah, Google reviews, right? Maybe nowadays the most of the experienced guys they come to the classes by checking the reviews. Okay, Ratan sir is blah blah things, blah blah things, right? Just, just, just uh, you can go to the, some Google reviews. Just you can write some review. Hmm? That's all. That's all, guys. But next one here, override one method, right? Override one method. here my class can implements one interface or multiple interfaces or multiple interfaces multiple interfaces means what override override how many methods are two methods right that's all then what a conclusion here one class uh, one class can implements uh, one class can implements so multiple interfaces right multiple interfaces that's all guys okay the last case here case number 5 we have one small conflict here we want small conflict what is the conflict here what is the small conflict here interface id1 contains void m2 here it contains void m3 method here my class test implementing two interfaces one class can implements one interface or multiple interfaces multiple interfaces right that's all if whenever your class is implementing multiple interfaces Ah, uh, then override how many methods are over here? Override, override how many methods? Any conflict is there? There is no conflict here. Override just three methods. If multiple interfaces are having the common method, write the implementation how many times here? Only one time. Are you clear? Huh? The first case is what? One interface extending another interface. Second case is what? One interface can extend multiple interfaces. Third case is what? if multiple one interface extending multiple interfaces if multiple interface are having the common method write the implementation only one time number fourth case is what one class can implements multiple interfaces one class can implements multiple interface fifth case is what whenever one class implementing multiple interfaces if the multiple interface are having the common method write the implementation only one time there is no ambiguity problems we clear right that's all guys all the possibilities regarding your interfaces versus inheritance i'll give some points here the class a extends b class class a extends what b class valid or invalid case here class a extends b valid right because one class can extends another class 
class a extends b comma c valid or invalid yeah? tell me you guys tell me valid or invalid hmm? this is invalid right because one class can extends what only one class at a time but this is what invalid or not that's all guys next one is a class a extends a class this is cyclic inheritance right then cyclic inheritance is also valid or invalid yeah? not supported by java the class a the class a implements the class a implements it1 interface then this is valid or invalid yeah? valid then class a then class a implements tell me the class a implements tell me tell me class a implements it1 comma it2 one class can implements what multiple interfaces right valid that is called class a like that next one i have the interface point right interface it1 interface it1 extends it2 interface 2 right valid or invalid or perfectly valid what the next one here interface it1 extends it2 comma it3 one interface can extends one interface or multiple interfaces here multiple interfaces right valid sir no one interface can extends multiple interfaces right one class can extends only one class but one interface can extends multiple interfaces right that's all interface it1 extends it1 here this is called what cyclic inheritance right maybe some guys are thinking left hand side small i right hand side capital i <laughs> don't think like that anyway this is also invalid right cyclic is not supported actually interface it1 x x inch one implements it2 implements what it2 see interface interface means we are extending which keyword here extends keyword here interface interface means required which keyword extends but here i am written what implements right invalid so no like that so interface it1 extends a class this combination is available or not available here there is no this combination right this combination is not available simply you can write invalid okay clear this combination is invalid right there is no combination here class can implements interface but interface cannot do, do any operation right that's all so one more ever one class can extends another class here. class can extends what another class the same way can implements interface also it1 comma it2 this is valid here no issues one class can extends another class can implements what interface also so here when you write the extends and implements extends must be first keyword here extends must be what a first keyword for example if you write the class a so class a implements it1 comma it2 after extend after this extends be is valid or invalid here invalid here. clear right hmm? that's all guys these are the different possibilities regarding your interfaces here. class and interfaces right that's all think the all the possibilities are clear right check the last three three videos here once i'll explain all the three videos interface contains abstract methods interface is the best place to declare only abstract methods right and here we no need to declare the public and abstract by default interface methods are pub public and abstract an interface are by default abstract object creations are not possible the interface contains abstract methods write the implementations in implementation class okay one interface can have one implementation class or multiple implementation classes are multiple implementation class ratan is implementing message interface he is having his own implementation anu implements message interface he is having his own implementations the second first video the second video interface contains abstract methods write the implementation che implementation class but ratan has to provide implementation of two methods right which one which two but he is able to complete implementation or unable to complete implementation here he is unable to complete implementation right then this is called incomplete class Com implementations are not complete right then declare the abstract modifier then take one more class extends ratan right like that you can take any number of jail class see anu implementation on which two also completed then anu is normal class abstract class normal class right like that so you can take any number of classes so any number of classes uh, but you have to complete the implementation of all methods right that's all and abstract methods can have any return type and any number of arguments right huh? i said complete the implementation in two jail classes number 3 is what overloaded methods right 
number num, last number this is the video class number how much here three coming to the video class number three we discussing interface versus inheritance the first case is what one interface extending another interface second case one interface extending multiple interfaces third case if one interface extending multiple interfaces if multiple interface are having the common method write the implementation only one time number four like that right number five number four one class can implements what uh, multiple interfaces number five is what uh, one class implementing multiple interfaces if multiple interfaces are having the common method write the implementation only one time that's all guys this is the first three videos conclusions uh, next video we'll discuss about the project level uses in the project level where exactly we are using interfaces and where exactly we are using what abstract classes Hmm, that's all guys so thank you guys thanks for watching and like the videos and comment the videos and subscribe to our channel to get the more updates here yeah. thank you guys bye